Good morning, everyone, on Andy Shellhorn's real estate page. It's me, Jeanette, again, hijacking Andy's page for his real estate talk. Hi, Andy. Good morning. How are you today? Oh, my gosh. I'm telling you, I don't know how to read a calendar these days because the sun is shining. It's warm. Oh. I think August was put into October. What do you think, Andy? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. We uh, actually, we spent, we just, Took a couple of days off, went to Bowen Island, um, needed a little break from all our, our hectic lives, and it was great. It was just a beautiful, beautiful sunny day. Uh, we, we spent overnight on Bowen, and if, if you need a, just a one-day getaway, Bowen Island, Snug Bay, it's Snug Cove, it's a great place to go. So while you were over there, just because I know you can help anybody in BC, while you were over there, did you see any maybe recreational properties that were available that somebody might approach you about buying um well throughout you know the, i'm born there are uh, a few opportunities but uh, okay. yeah i do follow it all. actually on the gulf islands uh all the way up to seashell i got a little uh, a personal search alert that i keep an eye on on um recreational properties and uh you know up to about five hundred thousand. and uh, okay. i do get an email every second or third day of, of some interesting tidbit and yeah they're always fun to check out so reach out to Andy if you need, because uh, he he knows the numbers and he's got the inside scoop on what's going on as well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so Andy, it's October. Yes. And yes. up, downs, or sideways happening in the real estate market these days. Oh yeah, no, there's lots of lots of stuff going on there. Um, uh, should we share screen and? Absolutely. And, Let's get okay. into these incredible numbers. Okay, let me get over here to. My other monitor, and here we go. Yes. So I just uh, want to note, just for a second, to for your for oh, your yeah. viewers to notice that I am wearing Andy Blue today. Whenever I, I hijack your page, I think it's proper that I should wear Andy Blue. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go buy a blue shirt. <laughs> um, there's an interesting old uh, adage, you know, if you if you're looking, you know, um, yeah, the guy walks into a store and says, "I want a blue coat." The guy turns the blue light on. So always be, you know, careful um, with uh, with what people are telling you, especially politicians these mm. days as the election is coming up, because yes. I think a lot of them are turning on the blue light. But anyways, let's uh, let's get into our market stats. It's been a pretty pretty uh, uh, devastating market out there. Uh, Fraser Valley Board processed only uh, 897 sales for the month of September. That was uh, 11. 12% decrease from uh, August and a 51.9% decrease from September of last year. Uh, supply of new inventory in September increased by 11%. So inventory has gone up over August and uh, it's a mere 3% uh, decrease compared to uh, September of last year. And so if we take a look at that and put it in graph form here, you can see the uh, September 2021, 2342 listings for that month. And then uh, for the month of September, we've got 2273, basically about the same. But here's our sales volume, 1866 last year in September, August of last month was 1017. And I thought that was pretty dramatic. And now uh, we're at 897 for the month of September which is uh, a 52% drop of sales uh, from, from the previous year. So the, however, I think, and this, this is just my gut feeling from what I've seen so far in October, I think we'll see that number bounce back up a bit because mm -hmm. as you look at this graph here, this is our um, months of inventory put into graph form. And uh, um, so here's the interest rate change, and you can see our inventory has been climbing it well into a balanced market. This is uh, July, uh, it was 6.5, uh, and then it went down for August to 5.8, and, and then September went to 6.5. But I think we're going to see in October that it'll come down again, and that this represents kind of maybe, mm -hmm. maybe bouncing along the beta bottom of the market. We'll see, we've got a couple of more interest rates hikes to come so how that will affect the market uh, is still remains to be seen andy just before you get into that yeah i just want to loop back to something that you said you said your gut tells you i'm going to ask you how long has your gut been in the real estate market or real estate because 
I'm going to say uh, your history and experience tells you something else. So how long have you been doing real estate? Uh, um, well, I was licensed in, uh, I was first licensed in 1992. And then I, I did hang out for a year. Uh, so 1994, I think it was. Uh, so yeah, what's that? Uh, six, Long time. 22, 28 <laughs> years. Yeah. I'm coming up to 30 years in the business. So I'm going to say your gut has got a head, a heart, a whole body connected to it when you yeah. talk about when you know these numbers. Well, and also too, you know, I'm still learning. Uh, it's every day is a new day and every day there's something new to learn. So uh, sure I, I feel that if, if, as long as I have that attitude, um, then I will, um, uh, I'll be able to, uh, to work efficiently uh, for my clients. But anyways, okay. um, yeah, here. So we're looking at inventory for Fraser Valley um, in the in the month of September. You can see that again, detached homes are well into uh, into a buyer's market here, and townhomes and, uh, and apartments are still looking like they're in a seller's market, but um, it's it's very close to call. And mm -hmm. so uh, now, if we go and look at our home price index, you can see that. Um, this is when the interest rate changed and, and the fall in pricing in terms of, uh, of our index. And that this month here is September of last year. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're basically all the gains that were made in the past year have been erased. And, um, and we're now at uh, uh, pretty well the, uh, and with this graph here, uh, you can see this uh, leveling off here. So if we come down here, we could, you know, graph wise, you could see a bit of a leveling off mm -hmm. uh, because this increase was way too fast and way too high to uh, to maintain it, even though it was an interest rate change that did it, which is a government intervention. Um, and then townhomes and condos, uh, not nearly a, a strong decline, but a, a decline nevertheless. Um, and then we can take a look at it from here, and this is our sales to active listing ratio and you can see that you know this was there was nothing for sale and that was December of last year and all now we're you know well into this balanced market um, and that is the July uh, August and September it's almost starting to look like it's going to be like like through here a bit of a bounce along the bottom but uh, it still remains to uh, to firm up that way we'll see if, if, uh, how that works out I remember a year ago um, when we we started these about a year and a half yeah, ago yeah. and uh, we're saying please put your house on the market please like you were like i've got yeah, buyers yeah. i got people that want to move and uh, move around and it was it was so trying as you to yeah. satisfy your your customers your clients on wanting to move and and now we've got this now it's really going to take an andy to to figure out a good house to buy and or sell so yeah, i'm yeah. just saying with, with well, what i'm seeing here it's going to take an andy yeah um, I can say that Langley, though, is doing very, very well. Uh, here's mm. our inventory for Langley. Uh, we're still um, only 4.2 oh. uh, percent uh, months of uh, inventory for detached homes. We're still in a seller's market. Uh, townhomes and apartments are roughly 3736. This, this is, um, you know, this is, I, I'm seeing home sell in Walnut Grove um, and in Willoughby. Uh, Murrayville is, is quite active right now in terms of, of home selling quickly. So it, it lately still has um, still a bit of a seller side and that um, uh, it does take a bit more of a negotiation for to get the buyers to understand that. And if we look at though pricing, and this might be also too where we're starting to see um, uh, that Langley sellers have been a bit more receptive to market conditions. And, you know, like here we are at 1,556 of the home and home price index and September of last year is 1,522. So there's that, you know, like that whole year of gain, we, we hit a high of 1,884,500. And that is to there to here is a 17% drop. In, in pricing. So uh, Langley homes have come down 17% from the, the high of, um, of March and town, town homes, um, it's, they've come down 8% and uh, from May, that, that was a little bit later. 
And then of course condos uh, have come down 7% and it's almost a little bit of a flattening out here, but it's, they've come down 7% in value from their high in, in April of uh, 645,900. So that's that's where the Langley market is. It um, There are, um, like I said, uh, the, the, the sale uh, values have uh, come back to, um, in, in uh, consideration for like, with what all of uh, the Fraser Valley has done. And it, uh, so we should see hopefully a, a bit of a bottoming out. The reason I brought up the 17% because of, uh, from the high is that we're starting to see a lot of predictions out there where they're saying that, you know, the market's gonna come down 25%, 30%, um, 20% different things like that, but it's already come down 17. So how are we taking in most of, of the price losses already? So tomorrow, tomorrow is voting day in uh, in BC and in, in the municipalities, and uh, it's really important to to get out and vote. I I make sure that I vote. I take my kids uh, uh, ever since they were young that they could walk. I would take them and show them the voting process. I think it's really important, mm -hmm. and I think that the municipal vote is extremely important. That is the one that affects everybody the most. So if you have an opportunity to vote tomorrow. Uh, wherever, uh, whichever municipality you live in, get out and do it because it's really, really important. I had a uh, really cool experience this past Thanksgiving. I was at uh, my my neighbors and also my landlords, and, and Andy, we had a unique experience. After dinner, we talked about because his youngest of his six children, uh, his twins, just turned eighteen, so they're able to vote. And so there was his oldest, uh, second oldest son, his next son, his daughter, his two daughters. We were all talking about the civic election, what it means. We were doing research. We were looking up and yeah. um, how, to, how to show up. And it was so refreshing to teach, I would say, two generations down because these, these people are, uh, you know, 18 to 22 ish of the importance of voting civically. It's where we recreate, it's where our, like our water, our, our development, our schools, um, everything that really we touch as a citizen in our cities and townships is our mayors, our councillors, our school board trustees. Yeah, 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 very much so. And it, yeah, and the school trustees, a lot of people don't even appreciate what school trustees do and they have no idea. So that's why here in Fort Langley, when we had our all candidates um, forum, mm -hmm. we included school trustees, and I, and I don't, I think that was probably the only one that was uh, open to the public. Mm. Very, you know, it's a very important uh, aspect, uh, especially if you have kids in school. Well, I would even say I don't have kids in school. I haven't had kids in school for a long time. I care about what the students are going to be coming out as a business person. How are they being fostered? How are they being? Uh, treated how are the schools being that like it does affect us that don't have st students there because it's the next generation so we have to be involved we definitely have to be involved yes yeah oh uh open houses we've got a few open oh, houses yes. this weekend yeah so uh saturday and sunday uh number 410 at 8157 207 uh, street that's a uh, uh two bedroom very, very big condo, um, uh, enclosed uh, patio overlooking green space, fourth mm -hmm. floor. Um, had a lot of interest on that, but we're going to do two days of open houses there. And then on Sunday, uh, 8902 Wright Street, it's a uh, home in Fort Langley. It's about, uh, oh, I th uh, about 30, 3,500 square feet, uh, two stories in a basement on a 12,000 square foot lot. And uh, this home has been priced, uh, it's been priced at the, at the uh, at the at the what we expecting to see a sell price? It's under two million dollars, which it sounds like a lot, but in Fort Langley, um, you you wouldn't. Uh, there are no other homes in that price range for this type of home. Okay, so lots to get out to open houses yeah. and get out to vote. Yes. And busy Andy, weekend. Have a great weekend. It yeah. is always a pleasure catching up with you once a month when Andy talks real estate. By the way, isn't it cool when your name becomes a verb? <laughs> just saying that you need an andy you need you need to be andy-fied when you buy and sell your home i'm just saying <laughs> thanks to that bye-bye everybody. everybody take care thank you